We're now in a great season for choosing fruit and vegetables. And fruit and vegetables are so important in our diet. They provide us with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and phytochemicals, which are healthy for us and can play a role in disease prevention. And they're also chock full of fiber, which can help in cholesterol management, weight control, overall health, and increasing our energy levels. What I tell my clients to do is to choose fruit and vegetables by color, because when you're choosing different fruits and different vegetables, you're getting different types of vitamins and minerals and different types of phytochemicals and antioxidants. For example, dark leafy greens are a good source of folic acid and vitamin A. Tomatoes, which are red, is a good source of lycopene. Many orangey colors, fruits and vegetables, such as carrots or cantaloupe, is a wonderful source of beta carotene. So if I tell my clients to choose different colors in their fruit and vegetables, I'm also being ensured that they're getting different types of vitamins and minerals in their diet. A big question that comes up all the time is, should I be buying organic? Organic is a wonderful thing to purchase for your family if you don't mind taking the extra effort out to do it and also keeping in mind that the price tends to be a little bit higher. Organic fruit and vegetables are not made with pesticides. They're not genetically engineered or radiated. There are no added preservatives or additives to it. So for that reason, for, especially for children that are growing, I do recommend if you can pick one or two that your family consumes the most, purchase those. There are specific ones that top the list that you should seek out. When you're looking at fruit, apples, strawberries, cantaloupe, cherries and peaches top the list. And for vegetables, bell peppers, celery, and spinach also top the list. If you don't buy organic, it's perfectly fine. You're still better off eating fruit and vegetables than not eating them at all. But if you had to pick and choose, that's where I would look for. One fun activity that I give my families that I counsel is to go to the supermarket and pick one new fruit and one new vegetable each week. Because you never know, you might find something new that you've never had before, and it's something that you can include for the rest of your life. A lot of my clients tell me they get tired of eating plain old fruit. So I like to give a lot of suggestions to make the di their diet well varied. If you take cottage cheese and add some fresh berries to it, blueberries or strawberries, mix it up and crush some high fiber cereal on top of it, you have a lot of different textures and flavors and a delicious way of adding fruit to your day. Another thing I recommend is taking a cantaloupe, slicing it in half and scooping out the seeds and pouring low fat or non-fat yogurt into it, and again, crushing some high fiber cereal on top of it. Another great breakfast suggestion is to, if you take high fiber oatmeal, cube up an apple, and mix into that one to two teaspoons of sliced almonds or chopped walnuts or pecans, mix it all together, and you have a wonderful high fiber, nutritious breakfast made with your fruit. An easy thing to do in the summer is to make grilled vegetables. For example, I love to use asparagus spray some vegetable spray, such as Pam, on top of it, and use spices, such as garlic and a garlic powder and a little bit of kosher salt sprinkled on top. Put it on, on the grill for a few minutes, minutes on each side, and you'll have a delicious accompaniment to any kind of meal.